This is the Business Hour in partnership with Network B2B, helping you share your passion, knowledge, and make great connections. Well, it's a, it's a very wet Thursday morning. Um, uh, it's Steve out and about at the KP Club over in Pocklington. And you know what I love about doing these podcasts? It's great to meet up with so many businesses doing so many different things. Uh, and today I'm with Jim from Scarborough Digital. Uh, and we're talking about marketing. It's a time of year where you may be thinking about marketing. Uh, but what does it mean? And more to the point, how can Jim help? How are you, Jim? How are you? I'm really good, thanks, Steve. Good. So Jim, tell me a little bit about Scarborough Digital then. What do you do? How do you help businesses? Okay, so Scarborough Digital is um, a web design and print house uh, digital studio all under one roof. Um, We cover all sorts of marketing from not just your website, but um, website, social media marketing on that side on the digital, your whole graphic design package from uh, your your logos and the look of your websites and things and your, your, your leaflets and literature right the way through to the printed media um, and the physical things that we hand around for people to remember us by. So things like your leaflets, flyers, um, booklets, right the way up to exhibition stands and all, everything in between. Okay. And, and Jim, you know, in terms of just, you know, out and about and you look at various companies, sometimes, on occasions, their marketing doesn't always tie up, if that makes sense. So they've got something on a website but their printed material doesn't link to the website properly. It's different colours and all that kind of things. I guess from what you're describing, you make sure it all ties in. One of the things is that all businesses migrate over time. Okay, and we all, we all have an image that today's fashion is only today's fashion, and things will move and the business will move forward, and all dynamic businesses will have a a general migration in a certain direction. And what what people tend to do is that there'll be certain elements of that marketing that get forgotten about. So you might come up with a fancy new brochure, you might give your business a new colour scheme, but you haven't necessarily passed that through to either the website or through to the uh, printed media or printed outlook that that, that you maybe have. One of the things that Scarborough Digital will do, because we have it all under one roof, is we bring it all together. So we, we, if we come up with a new design for a leaflet, we, we backtrack it through into your website, or the same way if we refresh your website, we bring it right away through to your printed media. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we do it all. We can do part of that, we can do some of it. You know, it, it, it's down to the individual client. Okay. And Jimmy, in this, in this day and age, um, how important do you think just normal print copy is? It's still, it's still relevant, I guess. It, it, it's incredibly relevant. As with all marketing, it's not one-dimensional. Um, all marketing is multifaceted. You've got to have your websites. You've got to have something else that hits customers in the face. Some people are the kind of people who prefer to have a take-home, and those are the people that you need the printed media. Some people will only ever look at marketing on their phones, so they're the people you need the websites or the, those kind of things. But essentially, you have to have this multifaceted approach to have the widest possible outreach. Right, okay. So in, in, in the print thing is I guess you do the, the business cards, your flyers, your pop-up banners, you do all that kind of thing? All, all of that is is, is part of the cost for us. We also do some really clever stuff with folders and booklets. Um, some of the most impressive things that people get in front of them are multi-page glossy brochures. You know, and, and we offer that full design and print service right the way through, hand-holding at every step of the way. Okay. And, and in terms of... You know, so you may start with that, and people may move on to websites and things like that. And 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 I guess some of the service you provide is because things are always changing, aren't they? Our friends Google are always changing algorithms and things. <laughs> yeah, Google likes to make it difficult for everybody, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yes, those those changing algorithms are really important because it's about understanding and being on top of that. As a as a, a private user of a website, you get people who use their own or made their own. What you tend to find is that at the point where they make them, they're valid, yeah. you know, but they very quickly come out of date. Google are issuing updates and, and directives all the time as to which direction they want people to be looking at. But the b- big core to this is it's got to be relevant, it's got to be fresh, it's got to be updated regularly. So we've got to make sure that websites are updated regularly. And the, the key to it is that it, it combines everything right the way through. Yeah, so you've got a common image right the way through. So if you hand someone some printed media, you also can recognise that same branding through the website. 
the same way, Google will cross-reference everything for you. So if you've got posts elsewhere on Facebook, it looks to make sure everything's consistent. And that also helps your rankings with your website and as well as your recognition by customers. Okay. So, Jim, I guess from... Well, I don't guess. I'm going to ask you the question, really. Is Do you like to start to work with businesses at a really early stage or... Could they be in a process of already, you know, done some of their material, but they're looking to really just tighten up a bit? There's, there's two types of customers I generally work with, and it comes from the opposite end. You've got the new startup guys. And the first thing everybody says to everybody now in startup is, you must have a website. So everybody goes, right, I must have a website. Mm. And they've got, those guys come to me, and we, we build them a site that they're proud of, and we launch them out there. And then part of that build process is about talking about their future marketing and what are they going to do about that marketing. Um, so that could be SEO, that could be printed media, that could be exhibitions, it could be leaflets and brochures, and that's all part of that launch process of their business. And we come into that as an integral part. Okay. The other side of this is when you come at it from an established business that's already out there and they know they need updates. They know they need to either update their image, update their literature, or update their website to reflect the current feelings and current directions of the business. Um, and those businesses, they come to us and we, we, we can either offer a full revamp or we can take a part revamp or we can redevelop it all from that side of things. Right. So it's working with both ends of the spectrum, fully established businesses and the new startups and bringing them both together to give them an outcome that they're really looking for. Okay, now we're over in Pocklington today because it's a great place to meet. You're in Scarborough, but do you work across the UK or can you work across the UK or how does it work for you? Um, I, I work nationally. Um, the, the bonus about the digital industries is, of course, you don't have to be fixed to one location. Um, yes, the office location is up in Scarborough, um, but I've got customers as far afield as uh, down in Leatherhead in London, um, over at Heathrow Airport, Hull, Barnsley, um, Staffordshire. They're, they're some of the, 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 the distance guys that I do, but it, it's particularly you know around the Yorkshire area where the print comes into things yeah. it, it is where, where that helps because print is still a very much a personal business. And that's where we offer that personal touch of going out, meeting people face to face, and and being accessible. Right. So you cover both, really, don't you? You cover you cover the national picture and and the local picture. How wonderful is that? Uh, certainly, <laughs> cer certainly, it is a key to any business is to be able to follow leads and to be dynamic enough to do that those kind of things. Um, and the national business is basically taking advantage of the digital side of things. But the core of Scarborough Digital is built on uh, customer service. And that customer experience right the way from the point of first phone call, right the way through to delivery of the product. The customer has to feel that, that they've got what they were looking for and above and beyond really. Right, okay. So Jim, if people want to find out more about you, want to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Uh, there's obviously all the usual ways. Mm -hmm. So there's the website, which is scarabdigital.co.uk. They can give me a call directly on 01723 369 161. Um, or find us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the usual media. Brilliant. Well, look, thanks for joining us today on uh, on the, you know the sun shining. How wonderful is that? And whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one. Cheers. Thank you. I'd like to share news about your business, event, seminar, or workshop. Simply email Steve at stevetwinem.com.
Great Yorkshire business on Great Yorkshire Radio.